I'm ready. Is it making that sound? Well, welcome to day three of our uh, adventure to Drumheller. Uh, we are at the Cross Iron Mills Mall where they have superchargers and some flow chargers over there. And uh, toys are us. Uh, good speeds here so far, just plugged in. Uh, this is the day that we're going to Drumheller. So uh, we're down at uh, 94 kilometers. So we've got a 125 kilometer trip ahead of us. So we're gonna blast up here as uh, probably go up to plus 90%. And uh, oh, we're gonna go to 100% today. And there's no chargers out, out in Drumheller, so that's a 300 kilometer trip in total. Uh, our car just almost, it's like 393 kilometers. But uh, you know, we're gonna be running air conditioning today. Uh, I'm not sure what the train is gonna be like, whether we're going uh, like up and down some hills. So always good to have a buffer. So uh, follow along and let's check out Drumheller today. So we're just finishing up. We're almost at 100%, got about five more minutes to go. And uh, we also just loaded up, got ourselves a Starbucks, got ourselves some Tim Hortons donuts, and some a and french fries. It's really a lunch for the, uh, for the road, for the driving enthusiast. So uh, we are now set. Shannon's just uh, wiping off the car, just pollen all over the car. And, and some bird crap. But uh, the thing with pollen on the handles is you keep touching the handle, yo, yo, yo you get it in your face and then you sneeze. Let me explain to you what allergies are. Anyways, uh, wow, yeah, the car is looking good, babe. Um, I, I think this might be a mistake what I'm just about to do. It's all gonna get dirty. Oh, yeah, uh, that's, that's, we got this amazing um, waterless car wash, but yeah, this car needs water desperately to be clean because now you're just gonna have a nasty, dirty rag. Yeah. Also my username. All right, we finished charging and we're on our way to the Royal Tyrell Museum to see some dino bones. I'm so stoked. So cool. It's gonna take us an hour and 19 minutes. Hopefully we'll gain some more time. So, and we'll come back to Calgary afterwards and spend now the rest of our time here. To crawl Barn back there. Got all the canals in there. They're all socially distant too. <laughs> yeah, because they're, they've got little haystacks for each other.
there no dynamite yet? Someone's got to do dynamite. There's a Ford dealership. One of these dealerships had a uh, level two charger. Really? Yep. Which one? Because I would use it. It was the Chevy. And they'll let you do it? Maybe they're on the side. I was looking. Yeah, it was a public charger. Looking, looking, don't see it. Maybe it's in the back. Want we'll to pull in and see? Because it'd be nice to add a little more to it. Yeah. The Ramana. Yeah, I'm glad we didn't stay here. I don't recommend staying in Drumheller because none of the hotels look exciting. Um, I was looking on Tesla Farms when people were driving here and they said that they stayed at the Ramada and it wasn't great. Um, and that was the only appealing one, but yeah, it wasn't that long of a drive to get here. So from Calgary, getting on it. There's a dinosaur. Oh, that's cute. oh my God, it. that was so cute. There's the sister of color way up there. Dinosaurs everywhere. I love it. I'm gonna live in town where all the dinosaurs are everywhere. There's the big dinosaur. There. There's dinosaurs on the on the pet signs as pets. <laughs> to drive through the town afterwards because we want to see the big dino. You can crawl up to his mouth. In 200 meters, then left onto Bridge Street. Everyone's really cashing in on the dinos here. Oh yeah, you got to. Cute little town though. I like mm -hmm. the little houses here. It's very cute. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, it's right behind us, right there. We're gonna go there after. center and a community center of the book venture. Okay, cool. Because so you can't be left in destitute with no charge. <laughs> Look at that. It's just all... Can you imagine these kids going to school back of Badlands? Is their backyard? It's the Badlands. The Badgers. only field trip they ever get is to that museum. <laughs> Hey weirdos, welcome. This is it. We've made it to our destination. This is day three of our road trip. We're at the Royal Tyrell Museum. Mm -hmm. If you want to know how we got here, we got a video to show you our journey. But today's my birthday. We're here at the museum. I'm excited. You excited? Yes. It's a dinosaur beside us. I'm very excited. This is great. I can't believe we're here. Such a great time getting here. And now this is the halfway point of our journey and also probably the highlight of our whole trip together. So let's uh, go check it out. Let's yeah, go in. I can't stop staring at all the things that I'm excited for. Oh man, already. it's amazing. <laughs> let's do this. Yeah. Well, here we are. The exhibit is made up of a number of galleries. We're gonna go through them now, and uh, I think uh, there's a lot of recreation stuff here at the beginning. Thank you. Yeah, have a great time. Thank you. And then uh, later on, we'll get into the fossils. So this is a pretty cool way to start.
that's amazing. Wow, I can't believe they're digging up a Tyrannosaurus right now. That is incredible. Wow, oh, this is the deconstructed head. So this was something I was really, really looking forward to. This is an exploded skull of what could be. Uh, man, these names are hard. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that, but uh, what's really cool about this is they've taken this uh, the dinosaur's head and they've exploded it out, expanded it out, basically back to what it, uh, of the skull would have been. Done in such a cool way. This is really, absolutely incredible. I am masked up. Uh, it is recommended. It is sort of busy in different parts today. Um, we're still, you know, just being careful. But anyways, um, the collection here is by far one of the, it's the biggest, one of the biggest collections in North America. This is an incredible place to come and check out. Uh, these, you know, as I said, there are some sort of models up front, but as we get into this, we're going to see some actual real life fossils. Really, really cool. They were just telling us that there's a dig going on about 45 minutes from here where they're actually uncovering, what is it? it was the T-Rex, wasn't it? Tyrannosaurus. Tyrannosaurus Rex, so that is pretty cool. Uh, and then I guess some of the pieces here are being worked on, so we're going to hope to see that. Basically a lot of college kids or um, geologists are just all working on it and just sort of restoring and uncovering and seeing what they find. Honestly, the whole thing is just so overwhelming, like I don't know really where to go. Uh, I think we're both just too excited to be here, so this might end up being uh, kind of montage -y. I don't know what we'll see, um, but we're just, uh, ooh, I'm totally, totally in the darkness. Doesn't this piece look like a, a face? Oh, it does. So this is an example of uh, three different forearms. This is a human. This is a beluga whale and a theropod. Back up so you can see the, the size difference of all that. This is an original. Those were cast. Okay. That's a cast, cast original. So original at the top, up there, and that's the cast. Cast is a little bit bigger. Yeah. But this. That's the real deal. It's amazing. Was that it is absolutely So that's a cast. But that, I have a lot of reminders. So we've got a skeleton of a pigeon. Yeah, but it doesn't say how old it is, though. This is an, a, a recent original. <laughs> is that what it says? Yeah. It does say recent. Did they just find a pigeon? Whereas this one was 71 million years old. <laughs> This one is 47 million years old. Oh, wow. They're saying this is a rare find. Yeah? And they left it to the rock because it's such a rare find. Oh, wow. And look how it's like head scratches. This is that one that has like that fur the thing at the top of his head, like this. Wow, it's, oh, right. You remember yeah, that, yeah. I don't know, Acorypasaurus? I'm totally butchering the name. Well, I'm not even gonna attempt to do these names But unless you've I seen can... this one before, like. Yeah. I'm just, I can tell the real ones have like this darker coating on them, which is kind of cool. Yeah, I do wonder if there's like a coating on there it. There's, uh, there's a lacquer on it of some sort to probably to keep it from falling apart right. anymore. Right, preserve it. So they've got these things down here that I think are for little kids to play with. So as a, maybe a, an older child might have something more about it. When younger kids get to, can get bored. Oh, you just I spin noticed it. that, yeah. You just spin it. That's kind of cute. Yeah. Clever, kids are really off the play. Looks like a unicorn. Hey, I was going to say, it's a unicorn. The unicorns did exist. Yeah, this is uh, mind blowing to, to, just to see how colorful it is, to see how large it is. It's really. And this isn't even a recreation, right? Like, this, no, is, this, the, is, it. this is the original, original. discovery. So, they're hard shell coiled squid like marine creatures with soft bloody parts. 
abundant in oceans during the Mesozoic era or the age of dinosaurs, considered the most striking fossilized ammonite shells ever found in Alberta. This brilliant 71 million year old fossil was discovered during the ammonite mining and was donated to the Royal Terrell Museum. Wow. This is absolutely incredible. Holy cow. I love this. When can we get this delivered to our house? <laughs> it's beautiful. Okay, so this kind of blows my mind. This is one of the world's oldest complete crustaceous plesiosaurus fossils ever found in North America. It is 112 million years old. It was 10 meters deep in the ground. Wow. It was accidentally discovered, exposed. I really love these presentations. They these like, are so cool. Do you have a hand? Yeah. Is it really so like it really, that's it what like I thought bear. it was, it looked it like, like a bear. bear. Are you swimming? Yeah, perhaps. You like my... He's a swimmer. I was demonstrating the swimming like this. And he's a swimmer. I think eventually I'll find the best way. I'm going to drive the person down to Pete's swimming <laughs> part and then never complete it. You're right. Look at that, you can see the texture. Oh, still wow. Still on there. Yeah. That is so cool. So yeah, this is the most biodiverse place to find dinosaurs in all of the world. Um, most of the reason why that is, is because where we're sitting right now mm -hmm. actually used to be on, um, it's essentially beachfront property to a big inland sea. And so what would happen is that dinosaurs would die like upriver and be swept down, deposited here, because it was kind of like a delta. Um, wow. And so we might be seeing fossils from dinosaurs that died like upstream and kind of drifted down here. Okay. Um, as well as we get those marine animals from that inland sea. Um, another great thing about this area specifically is all the erosion that the Badlands naturally, it's naturally occurring. Like when glaciers melted and stuff, mm -hmm. um, the runoff from the glaciers naturally carved out the valley. Um, so we're getting this like natural exposure, kind of like a slice through a cake. Right, okay. Um, so we don't only get that biodiversity, but we also get that uh, avenue to see that biodiversity like through that natural. Um, a lot of the things we get are also from industry, which is a really big benefit to finding fossils as well because they are find they're digging into marine rock for the most part. So mm -hmm. they're finding all of this marine stuff while they're going through looking for oil and looking for natural resources. Yeah. So it's super duper cool. Um, only half of this building is actually the museum. The other half is just research and collections. Right. So this is a very active um, site for dino research. Um, the rock that you're seeing outside is about 69 to 70 million years old. So that is um, late Cretaceous. Um, and then the further you go um, towards like Dinosaur Provincial Park, that's even earlier. Mm -hmm. um, and then different formations are different times. So for instance, we don't get T-Rex specifically here 
because T. rex is from uh, later in the dinosaur period, right before the mass extinction, kind of stroke of midnight oh, kind of okay. dinosaur. Gotcha. Um, but we do get them in southern Alberta. instead of the bone. Wow, so this 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 is bone from this yeah. jaw. What do those do though? Wow. That's cool. Did you think shark when you went around the corner? I thought shark, I thought ocean. Well, I kind of knew it was ocean. Um, it's just horrifying. I can't imagine. I can't imagine that. Okay. Swimming. It does, say, it does say big and mean. Yeah. <laughs> Big and me. Uh, fish. There's like some kind of fish thing. Oh my god, there's like lost souls in a wall. Yeah. They look like little quarks. This looks like quark fossils. Dinosaur racing. Dinosaur racing? Who do you want to race? I already decided I wanted to race this guy. <laughs> Who do you want to race? Ooh, he looks All right. speedy. Alright, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, one, two, three, go. <laughs> Is it making that sound? It might. You won, you won. Birthday. <laughs> like, this is the head. Oh, that's great. And then they show them running around and what they would look like in the forest. And you can actually move it around and find them. There they are. <laughs> that's so cool. That that's really clever. I love that. These enlarged to these bones. Teeth? Like, this is a human tooth enlarged 16 times. Human skull, a dog skull that's enlarged 12 times, or a dog tooth that's enlarged 12 times, it's a normal dog, dog skull. I like that they do this because they can kind of relate what a dog skull looks like to a dinosaur skull. It's over here, the families want to break. Mm -hmm. There's a whole area where they can have their lunch, wash them up in trash cans, and there's a charge where you can charge your phone right there. You just turn it on and plug it in. So it just resets it. Just the whole thing bursts into flames. I guess if yeah. you wanted to leave your phone to come back for you, you yeah. can put it in. And nobody will, nobody will pinch it. Is it going to slam in a second on my phone? I should probably unplug it. Well, let's see what happens. Now I'm, now I'm, uh... It's resetting now. It oh, and it's shut, shut off. off. So there you go. So, but yeah, you can put it in here if you're not leaving your phone. Or when you're having lunch. Oh, look at that. Look at I'm tempted to take my mask off right now because it seems empty in here. Let me take one more. Do not. 
if this is if this is like a night in, night in the museum situation, it's gonna get real awesome here in a few minutes. Oh my god, I didn't even realize that. It's so funny. You're walking along here and I didn't realize that they've got an outline of the creature. <laughs> and then the fossils laid over top of it. This is epic. I feel like I walk around every corner and I'm like, oh, and then I'm also saying cool nonstop. I feel like I can take my mask off out here. And here's another example of an activity for a kid. They were down at, at kids' height. Gives them something to play with. It's uh, even if they're not reading or doing anything, it's gonna keep them occupied while you look at uh, and other stuff. But it's actually also educational. So that that fossil uh, footprint right there is actually found here. So okay. um, we just didn't move it. Just right in this spot, and then, yeah, you, and exactly. then you built around just, it. Yeah, we essentially just like built it up. Yeah. Oh wow. It was pretty wild. Um, like we did carve it out and everything. But was that because they were building something and planned to create something here, or like a yeah, structure so here? Yeah. Initially, um, the first area of the building was the research and storage area. Okay. So we did not have a museum until the 80s. Okay. Um, and then uh, they, while they were building up this garden, they found this and then they were like, oh, let's just feature it in the garden. So they literally just like took it out, put it back in here, put it in the garden, just where it was found. Happy so, accidents. Yeah. Everything is. Exactly. When it comes also, to fossils. Um, like for instance, um, in town, like if you're building the foundation of your house, you can find them. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Like, we find them all the time. Same with Walmart, the local Walmart. They found, I believe it's a Dildapodon, which is a type of, um, like, primate from this time period. If I remember correctly. I haven't okay. been to Walmart, but um, <laughs> they also found, like, a really cool specimen. And they have it, like, next to their washroom. They have, like, a little dog. Oh, that's so amazing. Oh, really? Yeah. Cool. So, yeah. In terms of plants, I actually have a lot of these plants, too. The rubber tree and stuff like that. Um, I like that big tree right there, the one that was found in China. That one's really cool. I've never seen anything like that. It's really neat. Yeah. The ones in here that are like, I asked Dawn like which ones are like closest relatives to like things yeah. back then. Yeah. Ginkgo trees, we actually find ginkgo trees in fossils. Like we find fossils. Oh really? Ginkgo. I mean, I don't think it's like ginkgo as we know it, but uh, it is like from the ginkgo family. And then magnolia trees are very, very similar to a lot of fossilized plants mm -hmm. we see. Um, like they have a very similar um, structure of like the flower and stuff as the early flowers because during the Cretaceous period is when flowers came onto the scene. Okay. So before then there were no flowering plants. Yeah. These so are insane. That blows my mind that they know that. These, did you find these kind of in Florida all over the forest? But that, I've never seen them like that. Are you just from Florida? I'm from Florida but I live in Canada now. Oh, okay. like, we live in Vancouver. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm from Victoria. So. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. But these are in Florida all over the forest. If it's the same plant, it looks like the same. Probably, but yeah. But I've never seen it that big. They're just little bushes. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Like, this is like a, definitely a very climatized area. Because you have like a mister, you have like temperature yeah. control, the lights. It's very Florida everything. in here right now. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice, right? You don't have hurricanes to take it down. Uh, so, yeah, so these guys, we actually see. That's cool. No way. Yeah. Um, really, really neat. So plants like evolved alongside animals and everything. The first flowers were 
among like you know all those dinosaurs that existed at the end of the extinction okay. um, as well as early grass because there weren't really grasses until after the dinosaur period like um, the first grasses came about like Cretaceous period and then big grasslands like that didn't open up until after the dinosaurs wow. so Interesting. there weren't really any like grass eating dinosaurs as far oh as, like, okay right it's super weird yeah um, and those are cool too these are insane to me we have these in Florida and they're really small but this is massive. Maybe they're really big in Key West. Have you ever seen the um, the shrubbery? I don't know what you call it. The plant life in Key West is amazing. I love this tree too. Look at how cute they drape. I love this. Let's see if I can get it from a different angle. There we go. Away from the sun gives you a better photo that. Wow. I love it. So these ones are actually from India and uh, Jude was just uh, telling us again that uh, you know obviously not all of these are direct descendants from uh, plants and trees from uh, two million years ago but uh, it's a, a close uh, representation of what the foliage would have been like in the era so it's I would not have uh, ever guessed that I would be this blown away by fucking plants but uh, it's just really really cool again there I am saying cool it's just really amazing that uh, again, around every single corner there's, there's just something new and something cool and uh, it's, 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 it's mind-blowing so definitely come here and check it out. Um, we're building up. We're building up to get into the large fossils. We've seen a sneak peek of it. I'm excited to get to it. But uh, come on. That's amazing. That's really cool. Stop saying cool. The big ticket. How do you measure up? recognize this Jurassic Park the scene with the big flag with the banner coming down and the kids are climbing this this is a cast from that dinosaur um, it's a cast of a cast I guess but it is a cast from an original dinosaur and he told me they had the arms wrong when they first discovered this one so when I get around to that area, I'll show you the arms because they're not right. He said they look more like E.T. arms. There is your Jurassic Park booster right there. So awesome. Now let's see his little arms that are wrong. So they didn't know what his arms look like. This is like the very first one they ever found. A cast of it anyway. So the arms were wrong. So even in the movie, the arms are wrong. I love it. Also, it, it just, you can recognize it from the movie. It's so funny. It's the exact face. I love it. Also, but. This view just reminds me of like when, see the movies and the cowboy would go running along and then sort of like leapfrog onto the horse and take off. That, that's what I'm inspired to do here. Got you gotta do the work. So all of these are casts, but they're casts from the real deal, right? So, uh, none of them, just so impressive. I love this little setup. These two dudes are, uh, or ladies, they could have been ladies, uh, duking it out. Oh boy. Check out these little guys.
good God. Look at the skull on this. Sweet dino butt. This one here is an original. And then this is a cast, but really they're not that far off from each other. Um, and the casts don't really bother, bother me because I get to see this. I get It gets to be on display and it really doesn't look that different at all. They all look incredible. And the casts are all made from the real piece anyway, so... I'd much rather be able to check this out in this format rather than this being locked away in something where you can only see a photograph. I just don't, honestly don't know where, where to walk to next. love just what they've done here where they've got the image in the background of what the dinosaur looked like basically kind of silhouetted against the, the fossil. It's just really really helps paint a picture of what these look like. This is original which is the dark pieces and the cast is the light pieces. It's pretty good. Okay the so here's an example of uh, the cast and original pieces. The dark ones are much darker and they have more cracks and stuff in them. See the bones of the lake? Yeah. Looks like the head may not be real. Maybe if it's the lighter, real, it's, a it's a cast of the uh, of the original piece. So this is the scapula. Right? This is an original piece. Scapula, the shoulder I piece there. This. This yeah. And so it goes there, and then this is the tibia. Tibia? Tibia. This looks like Leg bone. Looks like a dog bone. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> like, oh, there's plenty Very of dogs big. that want to get their hands on this. I know, I'm just trying to. <laughs> You know that when something's behind glass, it's the real deal. That is just massive and absolutely gorgeous. Welcome to the Bear Paw Sea. Where is... I don't know. Okay, so Drumheller is here. This used to be water. Is because where we're sitting right now actually used to be on, um, it's essentially beachfront property to a big inland sea. Deposit of original and cast. Oh man, I'm glad, yeah. Look up. <laughs> oh my, okay. This is bananas.
A deadly day. Let's talk about asteroids. Oh, no. 10 kilometer in diameter asteroid crashed into Earth 66 million years ago. Mm -hmm. Oh, damn. Oh, magma. Is that this? Is this oh, the Oh, that's pretty good. It, it looks like BC. It does look like BC, but it must be Alberta shape. Just don't burn Look, he's trying to take a poo. Just a This is him. <laughs> this is the not proper way, and this is the proper way. Yeah, that's right. He needs a squatty potty. <laughs> they look the same, though. So I don't <laughs> That's funny. Rock slab preserving evidence of the KPG boundary 66 million years ago. Wow. It's amazing. I imagine this white stuff is the whole built together stuff. Yes. That's your fossil jacket. You learned that today. I did. So cool. Look at this. He's like, come on, dude. Why you gotta be so big? You're taking up the space. This is like his cat. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Wow. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I just keep having the same thoughts about everything. Like, everything is just so well laid out and just so unbelievably awesome. I know. It's so good. Look at that little tiny head. The littlest head. I can take my mask off. Yeah. It's funny seeing the pictures that go with them. Yeah, it looks like where the wild things are. It does. And then you got that guy. So good. It just lights up so you can see him brighter, uh, like a watercolor okay. in a way. It, you know what this oh, is Oh, you like. see his bones inside. Do it again. The false. Look at the bones. You got this cool guy. You're a corpse flower. I'm a corpse flower. Okay, we'll see what mine is. Are you trying to change it? I'm trying to get heavier. <laughs> or lighter. Work. <laughs> Let's see, we, we both wait together. There you go, we'll get something different. <laughs> a llama? You and I equal a llama. That's awesome. I didn't know llamas were that heavy. God, llamas are funny. okay. Llamas are above gorilla. They're pretty tall though. Gorillas are short and stout. Yeah, but gorillas are can be are like so muscular. Yeah, but look at their face. It's all fur. Yeah. What if you shave them? <laughs> you weigh together. We weigh as weigh. weigh as much as a shaved llama. The funnest part was weighing ourselves. So oh, this is the final room and we're about to uh, exit through the gift shop. That is epic. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to narrate this for you. I've already did it once, so okay. I'll do it again. Okay. This guy over in the corner, mm -hmm. this guy mm -hmm. right here, he's like, come on, why are you going to be so big? And down over here, the little guy's like, I'm just his cat and I'm following him around. And this is like a little thing what happening. It's an That's awesome, cool. really great story. Don't you see him as, come on, what are you doing? <laughs> What's up here? Where are you going, left or right? I need to cross. It's pretty good. Yeah. What do you think? What is your narration? Well, I didn't, you're throwing this at me at the top of my head. Come so, on, he's uh, like a comedian. It's a comedian dinosaur. <laughs> I got nothing. I'm, I'm blanked out. Um, Maybe he's saying I got nothing. 
He, every, they're he's, all from Jersey. Is he doing the I'm walking here? I'm walking here. Oh, that's good. It's, it's, it's not a crossing time. There's a river, so. Okay, here's what I think it is. Okay. I think this is like a medical examination. You got the doctor up here looking in his ear. It's this just big. Just to see in it. Yeah. It's he's, this he's, big. He's, <laughs> he's, got, he's got one of those guys in stuck his, in, in his, his ear. Oh, in his and ear. And he's this is what's, Charlie, come on, what happened? Oh, you he's gotta, mad because he ate his Yeah, head. exactly. He's stuck in his ear. Oh, it's stuck in his ear. Yeah. Maybe they were jumping off the ledge into his ear. Because <laughs> they are the same. Oh, could be. They are the same. Yep, it could be. He's like, you're so shallow. I can dive through you. <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't know. I tell you, Charlie, the fish was this big. They were all over the place. You can totally get them. Just super simple. You're big enough, you can stick your head in the river and just grab it. <laughs> but they've got a variety of beverages for you to choose from. And it looks like they had pizza earlier. They're all, they're all sealed up. You can get a cookie, a loaf of bread, or loaves. That. What's that? Like a salad? Well, salad. Cobb salad. Classic sandwich. Oh, that looks good. Taco salad. There's macaroni salad. Ooh. Oh, is there the really? In the car. That's true. That actually looks really, really yummy. Do you want that? I know. I just wanted to make sure there wasn't any like me you want meat a small in it or, or anything like that. You want the big one. That's what she said. Huh. Um. Also, you can get a grilled cheese sandwich, a vegan chicken burger. Oh, look at that. That's amazing. And you get pizza. Yeah. But it could, obviously it's everything's you everything's you waited too late, but no, that's okay. So oh. Yeah, that's really really cool. So there's black. Mm-hmm. That is true. Mm-hmm. Okay. The mug is pretty great. Right. So Does that? I'd love that head on this color shirt, but I don't see that. So I love that. I like that. They're both great. I know. I love that one, but I'd love that in this color. But that other shirt is great too. Well, do you want the blue or do you want, you want the maroon? I want the. I like the maroon. And this is awesome as well. Can I get one of those hats? There's feet on it. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I wish it was that design. But this is a cool hand. They can't do it because that thing didn't have any feet. Did you feet. wear it this style? Mm. Uh. I, like I like it. I don't you get love it. Go with the That's funny. I just love that hat. I saw it online and I love it. Do there be these mugs too? It says the dog has made. This has the museum on it. So. How much was the mug? I think it was $15.95. $15. Oh, okay. They have these mugs. And that's available on the website. They have these mugs too. But I think there's like leaves and stuff on the side. All right. There's like a light version. I like what you picked out. Me too. There's a light version too. But I kind of like what I picked out. Yeah. More so for sure. But this one says fossil fuel for like coffee. <laughs> Yeah, I still love what you picked up more. I do really love that design though. That it, what I love about this too it is it, like a it, it looks like. Mug. No, but it also looks like alien. Oh, here we go. That's actually cool because that's like the lands we were driving through. That is one uh, big ass ornament. Bad lands. <laughs> that one is a $20 ornament. Or you can just get little wood guys. Oh, that has the museum name on it too, though. For seven bucks. Hmm. What do you like more? I like the price of this. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I do like that one. You're right, the price oh. is great. Um, but it is cute, too. But I also like the fact that it's the just the classic dinosaur shape. Mm -hmm. These guys are everywhere. 
They're just not afraid of humans. No, they're really not. You're cute, buddy. You're real cute. <laughs> no, I'm not cute. No, close the trunk. Close the trunk. Oh, that's amazing. It's really cute. He's adorable. Yeah, oh my goodness. They are everywhere. Yeah, this is really kind of uh, like a Star Wars landscape too. Yeah, listen to me wheeze as I get closer to the top. <laughs> you could absolutely film Star Wars scene right there. It looks like miniatures. Yeah. I just want to see all the chick ones come out because I believe they all live in this thing. But going down might be scary for me. I will carry you. Well, it's not so bad. This is awesome. This is where a chipmunk comes out and bites you. Face hugger? Yeah. Oh my god. This is unbelievable. It really is like you're on another planet. So in addition to this lookout point here, there's a trail. I think it's about, they said it was like a 14 minute walk or so. A couple kilometers. You can walk all around and up and through here. I wish we had a little bit more time, but we spent too much time in the museum. We were gonna do it, but I think we're a little late. I think I could just kind of stand up here for hours. It's so Street West. Oh yeah. Comfort's open. Down to Center Street. We love 
the dinosaurs. And the uh, police, police department and the town hall and the fire department the are value, all right there. The value drug mart has a dino. There's a dino at the dino. It's a fire dino. <laughs> <laughs> There's the police department. They don't have a police dino. No turn left onto Riverside Drive East. <clears throat> More dinos. Dino there. Oh my god, there he is. The big dino. Look! Hockey dino. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I gotta figure this out. National and Provincial Award winner. Can you still go up in this? Is it, cl it says closed. Close. There's feet. Keep going up. And there's his face. I love it. I think he's closed though. I don't think we can go in his mouth. Badlands. He's tearing up the roof. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. I don't know if you should trust that real estate company though. <laughs> so there's a charging spot at the community center in the Badlands and all the reviews said it worked like a charm. So let's see how fast it is. We don't necessarily need to charge but we just wanted to, we bought it, a salad at the museum and wanted to sit here and eat it. So we'll give a little charge and uh, eat some food. All right, let's see how fast it's gonna be. Right now it's at zero. Okay, here it goes. Climbing. What's it looking? 17 so far. Not bad though. Oh, there it goes. Oh, this is good. This is a good backup if you don't know where to charge here if you absolutely need to charge. Look at that, that's, I'm happy with that. Very happy. Wow, we'll gain a little bit and uh, move on. While we eat our food from uh, the museum. Yeah. It's fossil salad. Fossil, it's old. It's old. It's really old. So this is the bird we keep seeing that my friend here said that, that everybody hates them here. They're loud, but they're very pretty. Very pretty. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the birthday wishes. Just wanted to uh, check in and show you what we're looking at right now. Uh, we left Drum Holler about 20, 25 minutes ago. Uh, we're, we've got 51 more minutes to get back to our supercharger and then like five minutes back to our hotel. Uh, beautiful evening, amazing night for a drive. We are just having the time of our lives <laughs> driving around. Love driving this car, it's been great. The charging network has been absolutely seamless. Um, it's just been fun. Um, right now it's just a lot of straight, flat roads, a little bit of up and down here and there, but mostly it's just straight and I'm lying, there's a curve coming up. But mostly it's straight <laughs> and flat. Um, so it's a little boring, but still fun. Uh, two days ago when we were driving through Merritt and to Revelstoke, it was all these winding roads through the mountains. It was spectacular. It looks beautiful. It was so much fun. And again, just, just so much fun. So thanks for the messages and we'll uh, see you guys soon.
is possible, but you can't do a lot of driving around there. Yeah. I keep thinking this looks like a man showing his tummy. On the left. But then it also looks like a dinosaur torso. There it is. All right, we made it back. And now we're gonna top up. We had 98 kilometers left after we charged 100% to drive to Drumheller. So it's possible to do it without charging when you're there. So we made it. It was a nice drive Perfect, back. Perfect, yeah. yeah. So I made it back, 96 kilometers to go. Battery's at 24%. We've been conditioning. So all we gotta do is just plug in and sit back. Oh, stop embarrassing me. I just ordered a pizza from this place that was recommended to us and it definitely is hopping in Calgary. It's called Senior Senior's Pizza. Just people and people just keep showing up to this little pizza shop. So I'm excited to try. So we got back to our hotel with the Senior's Pizza. You have to say it like that by law. It's home of the original Donair Pizza. Lucky, lucky, we're about to rip into this bad boy. Also, we got garlic bread. Cheesy garlic bread. It's a lot of garlic bread. Mm, it's a lot you of cheese in general. Them. You get two. But, yes. It's very American size. <laughs> it is. Oh, hashtag Berta. But they don't cut it all the way through. No, but we have the technology. Okay. 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 